This video is for how to configure the Hub Backup setting in Nova LCT software. When any way of LED display control system fails, Nova Hub Backup system can maintain its normal display and no manual intervention. Furthermore, when any controller, Ethernet cable, optical fiber, Ethernet port fails, Nova system can switch to its hub backup very quickly and safely. Most importantly, the LED display does not flash and black. This is the typical framework of Nova hub backup setting. As is shown in the picture, the video data from the video source through the video processor and the controller transmitted to the receiving card and a screen. That is the video data transmission path. Imagine if in the process of transmission path, and when its net cable fails, or its net port fails, or even controller fails. Therefore, the video data will be unable to be transmitted, and the screen will be black accordingly. But the screen will really be black? No. If we set the hub backup, the screen will not be black anymore. The video data transmission will be clear. The reason is, there is also a set of device. The video data can start from here, through the video processor and controller transmitted to the receiving card. That's the Nova hub backup system. When any Ethernet cable, Ethernet port or controller fails, it will automatically detect the failure and switch to another set of device. And what is important is that the audience will not see the switch process, because its detection and switch speed is very fast. Knowing this principle, we can think of the redundant ports which is in the controller can be used to make hard backup device. When we don't need too big load capacity, we can also use the redundant ports on one controller for hard backup device. Now we are going to illustrate the hardware connection and software operation about this two hub backup system. For hub backup between controllers, firstly we connect to the master device, connect the video source to the video processor, then connect the video processor to the controller, and then we use an Ethernet cable to connect the controller to this receiving card. Next, we make these receiving cards in a cascade. Then we connect to the slave device, which is also named redundancy. Similarly, connect the video source to the video processor, and make this receiving card connect to the controller. Then the hardware connection is finished. Now we start operating software. Double-click Nova LCT. Enter the password ADMIN. Then we can see how backup setting. Click Add. Configure the master device and slave device. We set the number 1 for master device and set the number 2 for slave device. As for the serial number of Ethernet ports, we can name them by ourselves. For example, set the number 1 for master port and set the number 1 for slave port. Though they are same by name, they are totally different by meaning. The master port is the port which is on the master device. The slave port is the port which is on the slave device. Then click Add. We can see the hub backup setting information here. Click Send to send the information to the hardware. At last, click Save to save the information on hardware. We can also refresh, edit, and delete the information. That's about the hub backup setting between controllers. As for the hub backup setting between Ethernet ports, similarly, we connect to the video source, the video processor, and the controller. Then we use one Ethernet cable to connect this 
Ethernet port to this receiving card. Next, we use another Ethernet cable to connect this receiving card to this Ethernet port. Then we have finished the hardware connection. Now we start operating software. Click Add. Because we use one controller and use the Ethernet ports for backup, the number of master device and slave device should be the same. So here the number should be 1, both of them. As for the serial port, the master port is 1 and the slave port is 2. We can also name them. For example, 1 for master port and 3 for slave port. 1 for master port and 4 for slave port, and so on. That's all about how backup setting. Thanks for watching this video.